Hey everyone, this is a Game Emporium, and I want to thank you. Uh, welcome back to the channel. So, um, I got the pleasure to have my level played over here um, through with. Uh, I, I want to give a big shout out to Nintendo World Reports for uh, playing this level and and a few others. And, um, and, and and of course it was with uh, Kurt on his live stream. Um, basically, all I did was here was uh, take the video that he um, uh, had played, and it, it was just my level. Of course, I created it. Uh, this is a uh, follow me the bomb, and um, I, I guess basically the concept I was attempting to make here was that. Um, uh, the bombs basically will blow themselves up, you know, as they reach the end point uh, where the where those yellow markers are and such. And uh, I really had a lot of fun making this level. Um, it was it was a ton of fun to make. I I knew that it was a ghost house, and I had to try to make it, you know, a little bit tricky, but not too over overwhelming where you know you didn't know where to go or uh, too many hidden blocks um, you know I've been playing uh, some of the ghost houses uh, as of late and um, some of them just they they depend on the the hidden blocks uh, a little too much and so you know you're you're dying over and over and over again several times uh, just looking for them uh, hidden blocks, and sometimes you just happen to accidentally come across it, or um, you know they don't really give you any hints on where it's at, or they uh, attempt to troll troll you, you know. And so I wanted to make this fun. I wanted to make it where uh, it was uh, it was fun to play. Uh, as you see, Kurt coming down, um, he's going to get into this boss battle. And I attempted to try to tell him, well, take it slow, you know, because uh, there's a lot of the cop copter cars. And uh, he, he tried to take it slow at first, and I think he tried to rush through it the second time. And he ended up with a ton of copter cars after him. Uh, but he was eventually able to get through it. Um, and uh, anyway, you can, like, pick up the fire flowers, you know, uh, in the in the copter car while you're in the copter car so you don't have to necessarily jump um, anyway I, I I kept a uh, well hidden secret in this one um, I won't spoil it because uh, no one's found it yet or at least a, I'm not aware of anybody finding it um, but uh, wanted to keep it fairly well hidden and secret so I'm not going to say too much, but there, he, he uh, Kurt, uh, didn't find it at, the, at this point. But uh, I do want to thank him for, you know, uh, playing the level and and such. And uh, I figured, well, since this was my creation in Mario Maker, and uh, that he played it, you know, I figured I'd I'd take the video of it. Um, so you're you're not gonna hear all the original sounds or anything. Um, just the background music I happen to just download from the net or something, and uh, I stuck it as a background because that's about the background music for uh, for this particular level. And uh, of course, he just got into a boss battle, but. Um, you know, I'm not very good with the, these editing tools, so I figured, well, might as well just keep it that way. I guess I could have got the boss battle, changed the music for this area. Um, but I decided, nah, I'll just keep it the way it is. Um, anyway, uh, he, yeah, this is where he's, he's rushing through it. He, he does eventually get to the very, kind of the end of it. And um, what I did is, is something very, very clever. 
or at least in my opinion I, I probably should have put the bomb in the copter car kind of in the beginning but um, I didn't want to you know have you wait too long so the design design decision was to go ahead and uh, keep it at the end toward the end and he was at this point he was trying to figure out what am I doing I don't get it what's going on and uh, at least he beats Bowser jr. that's good um, but yeah he's a, he's he's coming back he's like huh what's this oh wait they come together that's interesting and uh, the uh, the object of course was follow me a bomb you know uh, follow me to this location so I can jump on you and blow you up into smithereens. <laughs> it was kind of fun. Uh, and he said that uh, it was a very interesting level and he really liked it a lot. Um, I agree. I like playing these levels because they're a lot of fun to make. Well, thank you for tuning in to Game Emporium and I will chat with you folks later. Thank you very much.